Welcome back to Huawei Namaste TV show. Things are going to get rough and exciting because it's now time for the Moment of Truth section on Huawei Namaste TV show. So today on Moment of Truth section, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Uh, you have to give the answers very honestly. You can take a lot of time to answer it and there is no option of not answering the question. Are you ready? All right. All right, let's start this. Name one unsatisfied movie of yourself. <laughs> Bhagmati. The recent release. The recent one. Who is the best actress amongst them? Karishma Manandar, Jal Shah, Bipana Thapa. Jal Shah. Your most embarrassing moment on a shooting location? <laughs> God, there are, so there are many. many. There are many, but th I mean, this one probably takes the cake. Uh, uh, this someone who just. We, I was shooting during the night. She waited all night to speak to me, and uh, uh, so when she finally got to speak to me after the whole night of shooting, maybe it was about 5:30 or 6 o'clock in the morning. The first thing she said was, uh, "You know, I've seen you in movies with Karishma, Jalsa, Bipana, <laughs> Niruta, and and you didn't marry any one of them, and that's because you you are uh, meant to marry me." Oh, so that's what she said. That's what she said. That was her explanation. So, would you marry me? Wow, a proposal on the set. Yes, very direct. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who was your biggest competitor when you were just starting your career? Shiva Shrestha, Sri Krishna Shrestha, Bhuvan Kesi. They're all wonderful actors, but... But at that moment, one name? None. None. You have to give one name. I would be very dishonest with myself if I do. Because, truly, mm -hmm. uh, I would just mostly concentrated on my own work and just following my own path. Mm -hmm. Truly, that's, that's an honest answer. Mm -hmm. The most sexiest actress in the Nepali movie industry at the moment? You know, that's for the audience to say because... But this is your perspective. <laughs> the audience, they cast their polls, but this is your perspective. <sighs> you know, most of my female co-stars uh, I was not attracted to them towards them as a male person. I was extremely attracted to them as a co-actor, co mm -hmm. admired them as an actress. But fortunately, unfortunately, I was never attracted towards them as a, a, on a male-female basis. Mm -hmm. No, the so sexiest actress present in the Nepali movie industry right today. now. Today? Yes, I can give you names. Namata Shrestha, Nisha Adhikari, Priyanka Karki. Who else? Give me more choices. There are I'm only three? I'm just going to give you three. Just three? Mm -hmm. Just three. Give me some more names. I can give you Kiki Atikari. And? <laughs> Shishma Karki. There you go. Five. God. <laughs> because I really haven't worked with them to know. <laughs> but you've watched their movies. They're great actors. Now, they're all nice and attractive, but sexy is, is, is a totally a different mm -hmm. level altogether. And... Uh, well, if you want to escape it that okay, way, so we'll yeah, let you yeah. escape. What is the most annoying thing a reporter has ever asked you? When I was unmarried, it was constantly, uh, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? And never stopped. How, much were, you, how much were you paid for your first movie, Yug the Yug Summer? <laughs> I was paid uh, 21000 What are your thoughts on Rishi Damala? each for their own, each for their own. And uh, well, I admire, I mean, he's got his own style and he sort of intends to stick with it. And that's what probably uh, making his life roll. Uh, so okay by me because, you know, I admire people who uh, intend to be different mm -hmm. uh, in a good way or a bad way. Mm -hmm. I'm not the person to judge, mm -hmm. but he's definitely different. Mm -hmm. The most arrogant co-actress that you've worked with? None. Wow, very lucky. None. Ever had a crush on your co-actress? Even the Never. slightest crush? Never. Never? Never. Did any producer not pay you for your job? Never. Wow. I don't even have one rupee pending from all the 275 plus films that I've done. Uh huh. Truly. Who is your favorite TV personality at present? You. 
If you had one question you Otherwise could you're ask. Slap me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moment of truth and a slap on my face, right. right. If you could ask one question to anyone in this world, who would that be? And what question would you ask? My father. And what is the question that you would ask him? What did you really think of me, you know, when I chose this path, when I chose the line that I chose? What did you really think of me? Because during that time, we had this communication gap. We're almost on uh, non-speaking terms. And, and, and that's the curiosity, probably, which I'll have to live for the rest of my life. Uh, so that would be wonderful, you know, if I could just ask one or two questions to my father at this point of life. Mm -hmm. That would be so fulfilling. Mm -hmm. That would really complete my life. That brings us to an end of the Moment of the Truth segment. And uh, we don't have much time in the show, but I still have a few questions lined up for you. The Nepali movie industry has given you more than perhaps you've ever thought of as a person who just started back then. But what is one thing that Nepali movie industry has taken from you? Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing. You're I mean, completely I, happy. I, I got into this field with my eyes open. Uh, without knowing where I was going to end up, how long am I going to serve in it? And I've come thus far. So I basically don't have anything to lose. Uh, I have lots of things to gain. But having said that, you know, I've, like I said, I've had ups and downs. I mean, that's bound to happen when you're in a career for 26 long years. Uh, there are ups and downs, there were challenges. But despite all that, I don't think so. I've lost anything. Mm -hmm. uh, what I've really gained and what I'm really, really thankful for is the love and affection of the, of the people. Mm -hmm. That is the most important factor for me. Uh, that is the factor that keeps you going Irrelevant of, of, of awards, of what I've got, the kind of success I've achieved, uh, other material things that I have gained. Those are so overshadowed mm -hmm. you know, in, in front of the love and affection and the connection. That you have the with the people. true connection that I have with the people. Mm -hmm. That is the most precious thing for me. Mm -hmm. actor, and I value that. You're happily married now with Madhu Bhattarai. It's a year and a half old now, the marriage, I perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you considered or do you imagine yourself as a father in your future? Have you thought of yourself not as in extending a family? Not as yet, to be very honest. Now, this is an honest uh, answer as well. Mm -hmm. not, not, not as yet. We haven't thought of parenthood. Um, and uh, we intend to if we intend to have children, we intend to plan it, but we haven't planned it for it. We have not thought of parenthood, and we haven't thought of children as of yet. Mm -hmm. But would you like to? Another answer, honest confession. At this point, no. Be, the reason why we haven't is because it hasn't cropped up in our heads. Mm -hmm. It's it's not the priority. But down the line, you never know. You know. Exactly. Life is full of riddles and uh, you'll find out as you approach them. Thank you so much for joining us this evening on Huawei Namaste TV show. Any last words you would like to give away to your admirers, to your fans who are watching you right now? Well, it's wonderful to be here in, in live television and thank you so much that you went out of your way to get well, get it's views the from entire the, team. The it views with very your, less than views I do. With, yeah, you, you, when I say you, I mean you are the representative of your entire team. Uh, that you went out and, and spoke to the audience. It was wonderful to see their views and uh, to know their views. Uh, that's the best part of the, of the show. And the, it was wonderful talking to you. And th thanks a lot for putting all those wonderful questions across and had a nice conversation with you.